Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing very well. It's late July 2020, we're in the FA18 Hornet and we're looking at the FCS DDI page, FCS Flight Control System. So the best way we can think of showing this off is to get halfway through a cold start. It's just going to be easiest for everyone. So let's start up. We're going to bung our, whoops, <laughs> bung our battery on. We're going to turn our APU on and just speed that through for quickness. And we're going to crank right. Let that spool. And we're going to uncage right. Let that spool even further. Okay, we've got power. Next, I'm going to turn that DDI on. I'm going to turn that DDI on. And then warm up. So we're going to go to the support, main support page. So there, tactical support. And we're going to go FCS flight control system. This is the page that we're going to be looking at today. So let's understand what we're looking at here. First symbology, LEF, leading edge flaps, or the slats you might call them. Trailing edge flaps, ailerons, rudder, stabilator. So the control surfaces on the aircraft. For each of them, we have a left and a right. And these are the current angles of that flight control surface with the associated arrow which shows the direction from the neutral position. So for instance, left aileron is currently 42 degrees down from a neutral position. Stabilator, zero. But if I were to move my stick left, you can see that in real time, this left aileron is now eight degrees up from neutral. This is two degrees up from neutral. 11 degrees down from neutral, 45 degrees down from neutral. Similar thing with the rudder from neutral. This one is right 13, this one is left 30 degrees, and so on. So real-time position of those control surfaces. Note also that we can show our trim here, especially if you're setting up from an aircraft carrier and whatnot. If I were to add up trim in terms of elevation, you can see my trim changing there. Put that back to neutral. So if we extrude through to the left, or to the right, we can see that we have associated channel error boxes. When I say channels, that's because we're dealing with up to four channels. The channels are shown here, channels one, two, three, and four. Some control surfaces have four channels, like stabilator and trailing edge flaps. Some have just two control channels, like rudder, aileron, and leading edge flaps. Note also that some surfaces, like stabilator and trailing edge flaps, have two shuttle valves, shuttle valve one, shot above two. The error box either is blank which means no error or has a cross in it which means that there is an error detected in that system. So for instance rudder left channel one has no error it's fine but aileron left channel four has an error in it. Now in this case the errors are here because we did a cold start and the main processor was up and running before the hydraulics were online and so it's detected potential errors in these systems. In this case, there are no errors, we know, because it's just a cold start, it's normal. And if we wanted to clear them, it would be normal for us to press the FCS reset button, release, and everything's gone. However, there could be a real problem, for instance, if you were hit by a missile and it damaged, let's just say, your right aileron channel three, you would have a cross in that box there, and that would be a real problem for you to concern yourself with. And not just damage as well if you've got random failures turned on control failures will be again a thing to worry about next glim this is our currently dynamically calculated g limit based on our loadout this will change depending which stores and how heavy our aircraft is it's currently recommending seven six point seven g as our limit and remember you can delimit the aircraft if required in an emergency next we need to look at or auxiliary channel errors so this section here is going to be under the heading of CAS control augmentation system again they've got four channels one two three and four regards to pitch roll yaw normal accelerometer lateral accelerometer stick pressure sensor pedal pressure sensor primary angle of attack sensor backup air data assembly whatever that is main processor and degraded degraded is usually going to mean if it's if there's a problem there it's going to be a problem with shuttle valves one and or two of stabilators and or trailing edge flaps next we've got blin bit logic inspection code so for instance if we had an error we'll go in here and we could actually tell us 
the code for the, that particular error. For instance, this particular error would be code 000246. You would then go and look that up in a bit code manual and find out what that actual code, well, what the problem was, and it would be a problem with, you know, whatever. Whether that actually works in DCS, I very much doubt it, but it's just a cool little thing they've added. Other than that, things that we don't think are working, angle of attack and angle of attack there, currently not working. That guy there and that guy there we think are not working. And that's it. That's the FCS page. So you'll be using that on a daily basis with the Hornet anyway. I hope that was useful and see you later.